Hello Rosa, just to give you an update on the carpet. So I'm having it in front of me. I'm not sure exactly which car which colors you had in mind. Um, these outer lines are brownish, but light brown. Um, again, here is brown and blue. So here's aqua, pink, with all the colors. There's no one dominant color in the medallion, in the outer lines of the medallion, I should say. Um, that corner part is very light. It shows more in the video than it does to the eye. What tends to happen is that if, for example, you know, you, you pull the carpet back, the wool, it makes a, an effect which will go. But you see there's redness inside the carpet sometimes more than other places. So that's the, what it gives that effect. But it's very light. It's nothing major. Uh, these ones, these three marks, as we mentioned, we will try to hide them a bit more. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We wouldn't be striking. But again, it's very important to understand that the inside of this carpet is red. That this was originally a red carpet. It has faded now. So, and it had blues and everything. So, that, for example, here you'll see some more reddishness. This is the nature of these kind of carpets. And they're not going to be, you know, it's not a problem when you look at the carpet, to me at all. It's when you only get too close and try to observe it. But for vintage carpets, this is absolutely very normal. And also, as I mentioned before, here, for example, you're going to see some blue, more blue than this lower part. So if you look at it from here, it's a different color. I think those are the three questions you've asked. I hope they've been answered. Okay. Also, we do have a, as I mentioned before, a very, very big window. So there's a lot of light coming in to this carpet. 